how old you are, and what do you find the energy to do what you do? I'm 61, and um, I work part-time, so I run a small business during the, the normal five working days, and I work usually two evenings a week, uh, driving for Worcester Airport Limousine, and then on some Sundays, so uh, maybe 20 hours a week, average. Now, what makes working for this company so special for you? Well, um, I get to meet an awful lot of interesting people, uh, particularly in the town cars, because lots of times you're one-on-one -on -one with, with folks, and so you can have a conversation over maybe an hour's trip, you know, from the airport into wherever they live. And I've uh, been here for six and a half years, and um, I never get tired of it. It's uh, even with the vans coming back with uh, you know half a dozen people on board, you're meeting all kinds of folks from all over Worcester County and sometimes from several different countries. We've we've driven folks from uh, Kazakhstan uh, in in town cars, so it, it's uh, it's very it's not the same every time. You mentioned people from many different countries. Mm -hmm. um, is, is there a common language, so to speak? Uh, you, the driver, dealing with your customers. Most or clients. It, most most speak English reasonably well. I've, I've only had one in, in this period of time, gentleman who was was very difficult to uh, communicate with because he spoke only Italian. Um, but still, you can, you know, there's a universal language of uh, sm smiling and opening doors and pointing and and so on. So it it, it, it works. Now, six and a half years, mm -hmm. especially in this day and age, that's a long time to be with one one company. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, what, what 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 did it for you? What does it for you to stay with them? Well, it's it's uh, it's uh, it's handy to where I live, and it's nice people to work with. Um, I've made a lot of friends uh, working here. The office staff is great to work with. The dispatches are great to work with, and the management's been great to me. So uh, there's no incentive to uh, look anywhere else. I guess uh, I, I'd be doing what I'm doing. I, I've heard that it's uh, you can say it's it's a family. It is. It is. They have a, a couple of cookouts a year, you know, and um, you know, we all get to hang around and, and just, uh, yeah, you, you, of course you work with, depending on the schedule that you work, you, you see more f certain folks more often than other drivers, you know, that you maybe don't see because they work maybe early mornings. But you know, for the most part, you, uh, it is much like a family. It's a relatively small operation, but um, everybody seems to know one another on a first day basis and gets along really well. Now that's that's unusual that uh, you have that kind of working environment that everyone knows each other on a first name basis. Usually, you're just another face in the crowd. Right. Yep. Um, even the dispatches, when they uh, you know they, they they have to know all these faces when these drivers come in the doors. Even even temporary employees or transient employees, you know, they're all they're all spoken to on a first name basis. Um, One thing we're leaving out that really is a key here is that you're not just a person behind the wheel. What what makes a good driver? <laughs> uh, I guess one that's uh, very, very well. With, in the case of town guys, you know, you've, you've, you're providing sort of executive service, so uh, you have to be you know, very polite. You're mindful of you know taking care of people's uh, personal possessions, and you know somebody'll hand you some luggage. And say, oh, this is really fragile. You've got to be careful of this, you know. So it, that sort of thing, and uh, you know, trying to tend to their their needs, but even in a van service, it's the same thing. You you know you uh, you have little, little kids that you've got to you know get into a car seat or whatever. So just that sort of personal attention, you know.